What's up guys? This is the Rifman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in, and in this episode we are cautiously treading water. We've got hold of our holdings in Antigua, we've defended the forces in uh, Trinidad and Tobago, and then in Europe we have Madrid, we've got forces attacking Sardinia. Things are, things are generally looking up. Uh, so now we're in a position where we're going to hold our position build up a little bit and we are going to get hold of fire by rank at which point I want to try and turn most of my militia units into line infantry units well not, not directly turn them into them but from an organization perspective we're going to want to try and have more line infantry and militia to maximize our advantage in firepower over almost every other nation on the planet and it's going to be particularly useful in the Americas uh, but that's why I'm building up We've got Antigua here, building up some line infantry. So that, they should start to build up their garrison. And we can hold Trinidad and Tobago quite strongly. And then hopefully invade somewhere like uh, Andalusia or Santo Domingo. Uh, New Andalusia here at Caracas would be particularly useful because we've got quite a good recruitment centre in general. But for now, things are okay. It's five turns till we get five by rank. And it's five turns till we get uh, Division of Labour. So yeah, for now, things are okay. We're building up our navy. We are expanding our holdings in trade zones. Things are things are looking stable. Things are looking stable. And we're going to uh, siege them at Cagliari for a period. Let's try and whittle them down somewhat before we before we <coughs> apologies for that before we continue attacking. And it looks like. The Ottomans are going to be silly. So, see you in a second, everyone. Literally, just as I clipped it, they came straight back. Let's make a note of this in my phone. The Mughals are being Mughals. So, that section was two minutes. Cool. Yeah, right now my plan is just to keep building up, build up my navy. We should be seeing our fleet come back soon. We're at peace with the Barbary States, so they shouldn't be doing as much damage to us as they could be. Okay, we put a college in Spain. Yeah, there it is. There's our fleet. Let's get you back up to port. Yeah, and there's our galleon, Santiago. Get down to West Africa. See you fellows get repaired here at the Sandy Bay. Let's get another fourth being recruited. Can they temporarily build something here in Andorra? Because it looks like we've got a bit of breathing space. The high yield vineyards, that would also be a good get. New barracks would be good. We've already got a new barracks in Madrid. Which, to be honest, I'm probably going to start picking up some line infantry. Let's maybe pull my line infantry to Madrid so we can so we can build a bit of a, a core of another force here. Focused primarily on line infantry and try to keep my, my militia to the south. To keep Morocco at bay. There we go. We're starting to see our first infantry being recruited. Yeah, we're just cranking out the turns. I don't think there's anything we can do realistically in the meantime. So I'm happy to keep sieging Cagliari. I'm fairly sure that was a decent, sizable fleet. Two fists and a Jebek. So I'm going to build up my home fleet a little bit more so I can pull out this fourth rate and we can go and attack Salvador de Vaca. I don't want to break up these fleets anymore because they seem to be a reasonable size to deter enemy attack. But yeah, just keep building up my, my little fleet. If I go down there... Oh, no. Oh, God's sake. All right. <laughs> 
Okay. Come on, Moogle Empire. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. This is it's all one to intercept them? Absolutely not. Even though it's not a very good fleet, it's still better than ours. Okay. I've got a plan. Well, I hope it's... Well, I've got an idea. <laughs> it remains to be seen if it's a plan. I don't, I don't like our Spain's building up, because that could be heading our way as well. So we might be in a tricky position here and lose our colonies. Hmm. Well, my plan is to see if... if does that British fleet cover the, sea, the control zone around that entire island? Because if I can, I would like to pull that army out and uh, get them to Trinidad to join all those militia. Yes, Barbary States, raid those smelly French pirates. And the Brits. Now we're at war with them. Screw them. We've got to, we have to find a new trade partner. Hmm, who to pick? So we've like broken our alliance with the Mughal Empire, but we've built a royal observatory. So, minor nations it is. Persia is usually, is usually quite a good one to get, and we've, we've currently got a trade agreement with the Ottoman Empire anyway. So let's try and get trade, and I'll give you... Let's give you a military syllabus. You're far enough away that it's not going to be too much of a danger to us. Fleet arrives. It's our flight. Oh, it's our galleon, sorry. Our flight will be joining them imminently. Kruidberg. I'm going hard down the ivory route because that's the still currently the most valuable thing to produce. The price is somewhat suppressed, probably because we've got so many ships on the ships on the uh, on the go. Let's get another fourth. So what I'm planning? Oh yes, we can. Okay, we can. We can do it. We can do it. Orders do not to be this. Question is, will they let us do it? Well, they might know they don't have any movement because they've just landed. <laughs> it means we could. No, actually, no. My little army isn't enough. If we had fire by rank, maybe. We've got to give up Antigua. Got to give up Antigua, but I think go for got to go for Caracas in in its place. So let's take the navy out. Let's take this sloop and make them stay in Guadeloupe because that prevents that sea control prevents the Brits from being able to cross over to the island. Okay, it's a bit of a knee-jerk response. Because with the loss of Antigua, we lose an, our position to build infantry. So what we could do with is taking something like Caracas, build a barracks, build a barracks, and then we can start to recruit. Well, they've already got a barracks. But yeah, we can start to expand an army here in Caracas and send it out elsewhere. Not necessarily the best option compared to just having. To, oh, to be honest, it's not import. It's not terrible. I, I ferry infantry over to the colonies from here. You pick up the unit of Mikale to bolster your forces. I suppose I should pick my fifth rate back up from here. Three turns to a fire by rank. So yeah, they're going to take... Ooh. Good. Go away, British fleet. So yeah, they're going to take Antigua, but like the French in the Bahamas, they are not going to be able to move it, or they're not, they're not likely going to be able to move it. <clears throat> 
Ah, the Spanish are selling at Cagliari. Let's do it. I want to take Cagliari. I want to take Naples. And then... Actually, just a second, everyone. There we go. Uh, yeah, so take Cag take Cagliari would be... That would be very useful. But I'm not sure how much further into the med I actually want to expand. Not just yet. The priority should be expanding in the Americas, I think. Yeah. Don't worry. you got to come at us. So we're going to deploy back. Well, this is a really good army, so I could probably do with deploying it to the Americas to improve our access to trade goods. But to be honest, I'm only doing this to try and get at peace with... Oh, if I, uh, no, well, actually, if I get peace with Spain, will that peace out with New Spain? I don't imagine it would. And we still don't want to be at peace with Spain anyway, because Spain's got lots of lovely islands to take. Okay, so all my infantry get trenches. And then just speed up time. Just bombard the enemy that's coming right at you. Speeding up time because there's not a lot going on. Eventually these guys will. There we go. They will work out that manning mortars is for fools. And that we're dug in at range. So armed citizenry, garrison, militia. Yeah, we're chipping away at their infantry contingents. Six men here in, qu in quite a devastating strike. You've lost close to 18. You instead hit that unit of militia so you don't cross your line of fire too much. There you go. Hit them with canister shot. There's one unit of gunners. Get him. Third Regiment for Irish Brigade engaging. Excellent. Gunners aim at the 16th. These guys are steadfast. Well, I suppose it's because it's their command that they didn't want to really move. My cavalry to be a bit more flexible. Although we've definitely got the advantage here in this engagement, thanks to our entrenchments. Oh, they're pulling back the fools. Another canister hit. 16th are broken. Are they going to try and like regroup and reform to the rear? Okay, well this gun team... Wait, oh, yeah, just start attacking the 16th. Twist around shot, bombard this militia unit because they're all clamped together. Come on, fellas. Oh, they're all moving together. And it's a shot. There we go. Cop was away. There's the bugler. Oh, bugler's down. They're trying human wave tactics and they all decide they, do. they hate it at the same time. Bring the cavalry in. That 
some point. Well, I wonder, actually, if we make them all rel... Ah, uh, they've come, they've come back. Yeah, this army could well travel to the Americas once the territory is brought into, into the fold. See, the second regiment, I thought, hasn't even lost a man. And they have now. Only two. Yeah, but if we had five by rank, we would just be slaughtering them. You're wavering. To be honest, my gunners get to work blowing a hole in the wall so we can run in and kill their general with cavalry because he does not want to be doing anything. <laughs> That's it, the Bee Gees. Stay alive, stay alive. It's slower, but there we go. Okay, let's crank this up because I think uh, we're going to make our well ultimately either we'll make our breach run our cover in and kill the general or these guys will attack be repulsed and then the general being the last unit in the field will decide okay we have to come out now but they're regrouping and coming in this is all my light infantry on the flank over here as well isn't it Irregulars and more irregulars. Reload. Ah, let's use my let's use a set of guns to try and sweep away the infantry just so they try and do a little a bit a bit less damage to my actual line i could move these guys but i'm a bit reluctant to move them in case they get within mortar range so the militia though is not long as well even though they've not lost that many men I'm about to get canister shot in though Oh no, it wasn't a miss. Man, this is what early early game musket line battles end up looking like. Hence my usual focus on flanking and all that kind of stuff. Does mean things get finished quicker. <laughs> Speed up time a little bit. Yeah, so they've broken. So there's a chance that once everyone's broken, they may come out. Nope, maybe not. Because the AI can be quite heavily dictated by, you know, okay, this unit has to do X. So they'll do things that just don't make sense because they don't really have a choice. Like how they'll dismount dragoons to attack cities because even though even though you don't really want to be doing that, they will still do it because that's the only option of getting troops into the city. And I think they are... My well, guns have stopped firing because I gave them an order during high-speed mode. They're shooting at my artillery now. They've killed one crewman. There we go. So now my cavalry is free to charge in to avoid the bulk of the mortar fire. And kill their general. So will they survive? We lost four, five men. Not enough. Oh, they're gonna get another volley off. Yeah, two more. And in we go. And surprise! Huzzah! <laughs> 
there we go. So the Siege of Cagliari has been dealt with. Well, actually, it might not be ours yet. They might still be holding. Oh, for God's sake. Right. <laughs> to pull back to Trinidad or to keep on attacking. I don't like that one bit. That is a recipe for disaster. I think we attack the city as planned and then see if we can withdraw. And if we can withdraw, we do. Withdraw back to Antigua to defend it from that Spanish attack. And then we all, then, then New Andalusia will be responsible for building up her own garrison and defense. Whereas the force that goes back to Antigua will then go to Santo Domingo because that's where Spain is launching lots of their attacks from. So I think it would behoove us to clear out that enemy presence. Yeah, lost that, but that's okay. So what have you got? Lots of just straight line. Two turns away from five by rank. Well, let's attack Caracas, hopefully as bloodlessly as possible. Then this army can be shipped back to Antigua to hold off their enemy force. Because I think we can do it. We've got one set of guns, which will give us an advantage, and we've got some cavalry to flank and do some other shenanigans. And they don't have bayonets, so if it resorts to the rain battle so let's form a uh, form a line and advance just rapidly okay so our wrong side give everyone orders to advance into the town but I don't think we're going to get freebie to speed up time because what they've got a garrison line they got they do have artillery but okay I'm going to go straight for them with my cavalry and I'm expecting to get into fisticuffs with their with their own infantry not quite sure where if I can mop up some of these guns, that will prevent some of the upset. Especially as this is their commander. So I'm speeding up. Uh, speeding up, because normally rain battles, these battles are just a bit lame. Very well. So now I can keep my men all together on the flank. Sure, everyone who is moving it's here, my pikes can keep coming through the center of the town. You try hit the colonial line, even though you're a bit close for that sort of shenanigan. Because their native troops are still hidden. You don't have bayonets, you're going to be losing men quite quick. Okay, my infantry can run. So I was tempted to charge the colonial line infantry, even though it might necessarily have been the best thing to do, because if we kill them, it will force them to expose their native troops. Wherever they are, whatever they're doing, they'll have to get involved. Yeah, I'm losing my cavalry. Keep 
keep on going. I'm not, not going to stop it now. I have to get to 45. I'm going to pull them out. Nine, forty-eight. I'm quite sure where you're going. Forty-seven. There they are. Exposed. All of them exposed. You men run. My pikemen are stuck. My pikemen are on their own. Go get him! Oh, my infantry, run! Everyone run over here. My pikemen aren't gonna... S well, they might do okay, but they're gonna be vulnerable. Cavalry's going to smack into this native bow unit, but they're going to get bogged down unless they break them. No, they've, so they've managed to pick themselves back up. Yeah, my Pokemon are going down. Got to get my cavalry to break off and hit this combat here. And my pikemen are winning slightly. Because the native foot auxiliary are broken. The bowmen are broken. One last bow unit. Yes. Phew. Phew. My infantry are charging up over the hill. They'd have got here soon. But ooh, that could have been a bit awkward. But let's get this army re-embarked. Or well, if I can, they should do. It should be okay. So if I take my army and move them out of the city, yeah, they do, they can, they are surviving. So then my, my navy can go pick them up and run them back to Trinidad. So then we do get some reinforcement from them. So Caracas, repair this, repair this, repair your magistrate. Build a cannon foundry, build a conservatorium. Can't recruit anything, but it's going to take a few turns for New Spain to get over here, so that's not a huge problem. We do have a mine. A mine! Let's build a farm first, because you've got a couple of towns that can be developed. Two ports and an actual town over here. Commander, 20 turns till you get your first port. That's pretty good. But this could work out better than holding Antigua. We could if we could attack them, but if they attack us, we'll get two extra units in garrison. Which would be pretty sick. You're going to come and do some raiding, I suspect. We've got a new gentleman here. Because you're Spanish, you will go to Salamanca. Good. One more turn. To a division of labor then we'll go get basic steam pump to get some extra wealth from our mines we sorted out the fleet arriving oh no we didn't I thought we did so you guys go over there you guys are already i know this is all new isn't it this is all new these two line infantry embarked and shipped over to the Americas. Get you know light infantry and try and do the same, although you will eventually run out of ships you can send them on. So you'd have to send things like the fifth rates to go pick them up. Okay. Let's hit N10. Well, good. You're going back up. Ooh, the po the ah, the United Provinces were, were attacking Brussels. No, Austria. Those are our ports. We're trading. We're making money with them. No. Ah, the last charge of the Cagliari garrison. Let's do it. 
already fortified, which is really useful. So all we have to do is just hold, we'll take the city, then we'll build a bit of a skeleton garrison just to stop anyone from being able to take it too easily. And then this army will get redeployed to... Well, well actually, do they get redeployed to America or do they get redeployed towards Paris? So that is a tasty opportunity. Especially if they're getting bogged down in war with the United Provinces. Just, let's just keep everyone chill for this battle. They've all deployed right in front of us because they are aware. Oh, they've actually deployed. Oh, cool. Let's go get them. Run, pikemen! You're gonna direct. You're gonna get hit. Actually, they're going for my cavalry. I should keep my light infantry here to guard the. Ah, go away, you! Because usually it's the pikemen they hate. The guns just attack their infantry. If you take Cagliaro on now, now, like I said, I'd, I've gone through this loop before. You men halt fire, you men halt and fire, you men halt and fire. There we go, the cannonballs are smacking straight into their position. You go for their general's bodyguard. There we go. They weren't ever going to stand against us, really. Count of cannons bounced through that line. Horse going to cut through this general's bodyguard. E men just run to get ahead of them. Just keep them, keep pursuing them. There we go now, their general's bodyguard's starting to go down. The general's back here. He's not actually. Oh, is he? He's not. In, he's not actually in combat. The members of his staff are. Good charge into some Irish brigade to help out. Yeah, why not? It says the combatants are even. Come the Irish brigade. Attack the general's bodyguard that is steady, supposedly. Hey Don't let them get away. Ooh, we'll engage the general with a lone trooper with his bayonet. Uh, not enough. Not enough. The rest of the army's fleeing. So we'll call that a victory. So we'll take we'll take that. Thank you very much. Ah, that's more frustrating. But this is why we now have a reasonable fleet. Do we want to intercept their army? Yes, because they don't want to attack us. They're going to raid us. We do want to intercept you, good sir. But now we have a reasonable fleet, we can go and attack that small Spanish force and bring it into Portuguese service. But now we've got Spain, our trade 
the, the impact that has on our trade isn't as catastrophic as it would normally be because we are actually receiving trade through ports in the, the, the fo ho focus in Madrid. So guns in the center of our position go wide with the infantry. So when our lines clash, we can overlap them. Pikemen are going to stick up on one flank. The gun, the cavalry can be on the other. So yeah, the plan is use some of my infantry to fix them and then it looks like it's going to be my right flank to turn the flank of the 7th and roll them up this direction from left to right. My guns are... Ooh. Guns are going to do some work. So these men are hidden. Yeah, we've got three units of infantry. They're going to focus fire on the 7th. While my left flank is going to have to go mano y mano. Which means you want to focus slightly more in towards the centre. Rather than these three, focus on the 13th. Because these three are going to get wrapped up by my line. Stay hidden for now. There you go, the lines of... The lines have engaged. It's even militia. Humble militia. Quite devastating. Cavalry, push my cavalry around the flank to pick at the eighth. Yeah, the seventh knows what's up. Threaten them on the flank, see what they do. Now the 9th Regiment is taking fire from so many directions at once. To the point where they're wavering. My pikemen are going to face off against the 7th. It's important that you guys continue. To whittle down the flank. Gunners engage the 13th. We've not been baited. But let's get my cavalry around the rear to chop up some of these cavalry, these uh, infantry units just a little bit more. You guys need to push up a lot more. men engage the ninth because they've not really broken well they've not shattered yet we want them to shatter shatter damn it Gunners cease fire. My pikemen in. Kill the enemy commander. Still not shattered. Keep pushing up aggressively. These guys do not want to shatter. Very well, the 
you pursue them, you pursue them. Now they're shattered, you chase after the seventh. Pikemen push up to the rear. Excellent. These are you both units are both shattered. Human reload and make ready and engage the eleventh. Let's clean your line in advance. These men should break fairly soon. They're under fire from so many different directions. Poor devils. Ah, pikemen, get out of the way! Get into the combat, that's your only hope of surviving. question is, well, we are going to pursue. Hey. Go get them, pikemen. We are going to pursue, but we're not going to get as many kills as we might like. Oh, what's happened now? Oh, nothing. My computer's just gone to... My computer's just gone back to the... Uh, my desktop. How very odd. Yeah, let's finish mopping up. We are going to continue because we've still got these guys to deal with on the island. Attack him! To be honest, New Andalusia here will be worth a lot more than Antigua will be. Granted, we might have to defend it against the new Spaniards for a while, but if we can hold, keep this army up together, this can be a bit of a rapid reaction force. Keep on attacking! Oh, they're all spread out. They're probably going to rout. We'll successfully escape. Chipping away at him. It's always going to be tricky. Well, there actually, just like we might get him. Looks a lot better now. It's Ten in one clump, rather than forty spread out. Nice. Ah, oh, wasn't a close victory. I mean, we couldn't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against their infantry, but they've only got 300 men remaining. Oh, they're all dead. <laughs> GG, Spain. But yeah, the idea is, if we can... If we can keep the... Keep the Simi alive. Keep it to threaten Wainy. I want to go for Santo Domingo. Because, we, as we've seen, that's where Spain seems to be determined to launch letters to attack... to create armies to attack us. While at the same time trying to hold on to our territory in New Andalusia. But it looks like the Ottomans are going to be silly. So I will chop the recording and see you guys in a second. And we're back. Yeah, but it looks like the Mughals are gonna get ultimately defeated by the Marathas, but as long as they can keep the longer they keep the Marathas held up, the longer we don't have to worry about Marathan stacks. Invading our troop, invading our armies, and invading our islands rather. Not invading our troops, invading our armies. Invading our territory. And holding down a lot of our infantry to prevent such attacks. We do have that Spanish fleet to destroy. 
They're just upset that we own their territory now. See, we are now bankrupt because, actually, I guess a lot of our trade does come through here. Two fifth rates. So, in theory, if we were unable to do anything about this, we need to earn. So, we get, a good, we get some trade from... Some trade from our allies, but I'm afraid, good sir. Actually, now might be a good time to take a weak unit of militia to guard Sandy Bay. Let's go take out those Spaniards. We do, we can do it to bring them into the fleet. Rather than auto resolve, which we, we would win. But yeah, we're going to try and capture them. Bring their ships into the Portuguese. That into the mighty Portuguese fleet. Okay, there we go. Come on, Spain. Sail to your doom. They don't. They, well, there's a limit to how many ships they can actually build because they're gonna have to i think these came from the americas they didn't necessarily come from europe so otherwise they'd have to pass through this fleet anyway to get through the strait of gibraltar which we know they didn't do so these yeah these might have been might be american raiders we'll show them what it means to raid against the portuguese empire spain The models do look great. So yes, here we got Santa Isabel and the El Gran and Alejandro. Alejandro is not going to be quite so grand soon. So our battle lines are merging. Eventually, they're going to swing in to face us. Got our first shots away. But to be honest, when it's quite long range like this, there's not a huge amount. Not a huge amount for me to do. So we're just going to keep attacking each other. Just keep trying to get ahead of them. Eventually, they will have to swing. into us. Take a lot of this punishment onto my fourth rate to the head of the column, but I'd like to well in theory, ship v ship we should win because we are a full rate bigger. Okay, let's try close the gap somewhat now. Either we close it or they close it, and I think we are doing okay. Now they're going to shoot into the head of my column into Asumpacao. Asumpacao. Let's open up the distance again. Well, not open up the distance again, but, you know. Might have to just lash them with some broadside so I want you to try and sail cut across their stern keep everyone sailing as fast else sailing as fast as they can because ultimately we don't want to keep we don't want our fourth right here to become isolated he's a far as broadside so can you fire chain to the back of Santa Isabel, you can. And you're going to pull back to safety. I might withdraw you. Depends which way you withdraw. Sail away. 
fire it will off because you're on fire. Just as fast as you can. This way, let's bring you this way. Alright, you're gonna soon, you're gonna make it out of there. Scrollo and Sacramento. Santo Alberto, the Admiral's flagship. They can start getting some broadsides into Santa Isabel. Santa Isabel is, is more understanding of what's going to happen to her. She bears. You ships sail this way to cut off the fleet. You ships keep sailing. Across the other side of those ships. There we go. Dip the masts. Try it and try border. Although she will likely escape because we're so far away from the edge of the map. Sails are damaged. Shots. Oh. Al Grande and, and Alejandro has lost her mast. Broadside again into Santa Isabel. Okay, don't get, don't go in for the, don't go in for the capture anymore. some chain shot into, into the Alejandro's masts. Okay, you guys come down here. You're going to engage Santa Isabel. You just drop anchor. Broadside. Fire. We got another broadside. Broadside into her. You hold anchor, it's let San Jose get ahead in the gap. There you are. Everyone fire chain because she's sailing into a perfect position to be hit by chain shot. Same with you, really, now. Especially because you want to try and withdraw. That's it. That's it. Come on. 
extreme range. Oh, miss for misclick. She surrendered. It's four three to the rear, just withdraw. You just pivot, start firing round shot into her. Barolo, you can keep plinking at range. Fire, she bows. Hasn't lost a mast. But it's Mr. Da so Jose and Nossa Sinora de Mess. This chat. Are you gonna be the one to do it? Because you're gonna switch to round shot. These are very resilient sails. Flagship to put a broadside into her. Let's try and make a surrender. We are going to continue, but it's just going to be a case of let the ships keep firing. Huzzah! It's two more ships brought into His Majesty's service, sadly, at the minute. Si, senor. We've still got that silly fool Pedro. Minus 2,000, why is that? Oh, it's because some of our the, the big people that we're trading with are at war, uh, they're blockading each other. Ha! Huh. Very well. Hmm. The best way to get out of this. Hey, Poland. What if I offer you flintlock cannon for a grand? Spinning Jenny for 900? Yeah, I'll take that. 13 colonies, plug bayonet, or 2 grand for plug bayonet. Nope. Plug bayonet for 1 grand. What about the Moogles, actually? They could do with some... We have nothing to offer them. What about the... Who? Genoa. Attack. Spinning Jenny. Okay, Italian States. Okay, two attacks for... For a thousand. Square for eight. Yeah, okay. Don't want to give anything to Morocco. Should better get a grand from period for physiocracy. Tech. Fine. What about both of them? Two. I don't want to give you both of them for a grand but I'm gonna have to give Gibraltar no no sir so I tried to sell you plug bayonets and canister shot for grand Okay, in which case I might have to crank up my policies just to get past this phase. Yeah, minus 871. That's okay. Got to crank up my policies to make it work. I'm not going to sell anything or do anything. Except maybe build this. No, don't build this barracks. Hit and turn. 
Yeesh. Although the Ottomans, well, the Austrians are in trouble, so the Ottomans could potentially sort this one out themselves. But yeah, this is kind of exactly why trade is brilliant. But you just need to be real careful <laughs> because before you know it, you end up you end up uh, stuck because the other people. <laughs> you're not. It's not. You're not just hoping that your your faction or your allies defend their ports. You just hope that no one else that you're not at war with attacks them. Vosk Cagliari to bring into the fold. And this is going to be a negative wealth earning turn unless either of those two countries sorts out their trade problem. Which they haven't. I think the Mughals are going to be a bad. The Mughals are not going to be good people to hitch our wagon to. It goes into here. Which is damaged, and they're going to lose a made a bad anyway, which would actually not be a terrible thing. Let's bring your ships in. It's so backwards. Okay. Fourteen hundo. So I can't upgrade anything or do anything, so I can't repair the government building here. I can combine some of these troops. Although now, we should have fire by rank, so that will really help. It'll mean that we can start to squash the number of militia we use. So you're going to keep going down the philosophical technologies. Although that might be might be better off going for something a bit more short term. Carbines. Peace, France. Peace and trade. I don't know why I offer them trade. Usually I just kind of hope. Peace treaty with Spain. Interesting. Peace with Britain. Don't complain. Okay, let's crank my policies up for the upper classes. It's not ideal, but not all I can do. I'm just to try and ease that tax burden until the, either of those two sort out their trade, their um, yeah, their trade problem. But until then, I can't really do anything. And there aren't any. I could have attacked this force if I were at war. Oh no, that's Italians, not not Spanish. Mm. It's not good because it, yeah, it, it's you just it, you're robbing Peter to pay Paul with higher tax rates. I mean, that's definitely not helped. I need Austria to lose that war. I need Austria to lose that war, and I need the Ottomans to win. The Ottomans have taken Zagreb. If they can take Vienna, then that gets rid of the Austrians' ability to, make, to wage war at sea anyway. Realistically, I'm probably going to disband the militia force in, in uh, Gibraltar as a bit unnecessary. 
then I'm going to need to take my force out of Antigua and push towards Bogota to try and get some work done. And again there, that's another country. That's another area I'm probably... When I get into a conflict, I'm not going to... I'm only going to agree to the Alliance because they're going to give me a grand. That buys me a turn. I'm happy to drop them like a... Like a messy... Like, a, like, a, like an old sock. I'm happy to do that because I'm not going to get caught out. Well, there's a few last time at war with most of the people they're going to be at war. Well, they're not going to be at war. Ooh! Positive money. Positive money. 13 colonies of... Oh, the Mughal Empire have got their port secured. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Right. So I can stand to try and crank down these policies. I'm going to do this just to see how bad it looks. Yeah, we just got ahead above water. I can, I can handle that. Because we've made, we made peace with Spain. We're still at war with New Spain. So you chaps, we're not going to spend any more money on Trinidad, even though we were at peace with Spain. So they shouldn't be as aggro. As they were. If you had to deliver your troops to Bogota, you would land to the north and then drive south. I'm actually going to land you here. It'll take them much longer to get there. But get there they will. There we go. Merge them like that. Same with my infantry. You men push. Like I said, it'll take a few turns. Get better roads. We can get a mine here. Gem pit will be very useful. You guys get back into port. Yeah, it's not even super worth having you raid. 519 becomes 560. It's not worth it. Caracas then gets a plus 5% bonus to tax income off the bat. And then you guys, Opera House is also useful. Start pumping up that growth. That extra growth of income. And then the last bit of cash we have. We can only replenish so many. And yeah, I want to try and get these get Cagliari repaired and then this force brought back because we could make war against France and take Paris in addition to our campaign in the Americas. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the struggle with the Empire of Portugal. Cheers, everyone.